All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro. Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin' y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, subscribe to the channel. It's so easy. It's somewhere down there. Click that subscribe button. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Do that right now. Like the video. And if you're subscribing, make sure you turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. Because, I mean, why would you want to miss this? I mean, we really get to the end over here. All right, y'all. So, we got to talk about, um, finally, we got the Glorilla, Megan Thee Stallion, and Cardi B. The wannabe remix. Y'all know we got to talk about it. And did Cardi B uh, call Bia out? I mean, I don't even think that's the question. She definitely did. We got to talk about that, too. So, y'all, um... Let's talk about the record first, and let's say the Cardi B piece for uh, for later. Okay, y'all, so we got the wannabe remix record. So remember, we were supposed to get this record uh, last week, but they ended up putting it out. And so I listened to the record, <clears throat> and I've listened to it a few times. I've listened to, well, I guess you know what? What we're analyzing, I guess, is Cardi B's verse. So I listened to the record. Now, I like Cardi B's verse. I do like it. Is it my favorite Cardi B verse? No. But do I like it? Sure. Like, um, um, do I think it has a lot of uh, replay value? No. I don't think her... Did she take the song to just a new height? No. Mm -mm. But do I like her verse? Yeah, sure. I like her verse. It's not a bad verse at all. It is not a bad verse. But did she completely just, like, take the song to another level? No. Um... Did she make the song like 20 times better? No. Um, and me, maybe I'm old school. That's what I be thinking remixes is supposed to do. I feel like if somebody is jumping on a remix, um, it's to make the song better or kind of just take it to a whole nother level. You know what I mean? But did she do a good job? Yeah, she did a really good job. On, not a really good job. She did a good job on her verse. Now, I will say this. This would what this is what would have probably got her a really good job. I don't be understanding, and y'all, I don't know if it's me. I do not be really understanding what Cardi B be saying, for real. I said this to y'all last time with the Enough record. I don't be understanding what Cardi B be saying. I be having to listen really closely. It's like, and y'all know, I talk fast too, so I know sometimes I have to slow it down so I can articulate myself and enunciate. I just want her to enunciate. I want her to... I don't know. Maybe like after she get done writing it, um, maybe practice in the mirror or something. I don't know, y'all. I need her to be able to enunciate because some of the stuff I had to go look up the lyrics, not to, you know, see what she was talking about, like it was a bar or something like that, but because I did not understand what she was saying. Some parts were clear and some weren't. Some weren't y'all. It's just, I don't know. Let me know in the comments right now. Do y'all be having a hard time understand what she's, understanding what she's saying too? See, I had to catch myself because I talk fast too. But if you're on a record, girl, we're supposed to be playing is, I think I want to understand what you're saying. But nonetheless, Cardi B did a good job on her verse. Um, so I will give her that. We're going to clap it up for Cardi B. She did a good job on the verse. Um, but I wasn't just blown away. Do I think this is going to um, help the song do something else no you know i feel like is this a top 10 i guess that's the that's the main question because generally and we got to talk when people do remixes they do the remixes for the songs to either well i shouldn't say either they do the remix for the song to stay on the charts and for it to grow on the chart so let's say the wannabe record right now was um it was number 26 I just put out a random number. I don't know what the actual uh, charting of it is. Well, then you put do a uh, you do a remix because you like okay. We can either if this remix is strong enough, we can pull a number one, or we can at least pull a top ten with this. So, do I see this going top ten? No, I'm gonna just be honest. No, I don't see it going top ten. I don't see it going top ten. But if it does, um, I will be shocked. Um, let's see what the chart position of it is right now. Let's see. Billboard top 100. Because I guess it just depends on where it's at right now in the chart, on the charts right now. Um, let me see. Um, 
let's see where it's at, y'all. Okay, so this is I want to be. Oh, so it's number fifty right now. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> oh baby, no, it's not. It's not going top ten. I don't see it jumping um forty spots or so. Mm -mm. No, I don't see that. No. I could be wrong, but no, I don't see that. I don't see that at all. Um, but again, Cardi B, you did a good job. I just need you to enunciate, baby. You gotta, you gotta be able to enunciate. That's it. But Cardi B, you did a good job. Now, do I think this uh, verse was strong enough for uh, the people not to want um, another single or uh, really an album at this point? A body of work from Cardi B? No. So, um, Cardi B, this will hold you over for about a good three weeks before your fans start complaining again. Two or three weeks. Because, you know, her fans be getting in that ass. So, this will hold you over until um, the Barty gang start complaining again. And then you cussing them out again. This might hold you over to the end. About another three weeks. But um, we still want more. We, we want the album and um, another, another good song. But, um, y'all, so. Bia, Bia. So, y'all, she came for Bia's neck in the song. So, I know this is what y'all here for. Y'all here for the mess. And we definitely finna talk about it. So, she came for Bia's neck in this song, y'all. So, um, I'm going to pull up the lyrics. Oh, you know what? Can I play a little bit of this? I wonder. No, I'm not trying to get no. Uh-uh. I ain't even going to do it. Nope. Okay. So, y'all. So, this part. So, she basically... Um, Cardi B, and I got the lyrics pulled up, but I'm not going to read through it or whatever. Um, but this is, I'll read it. I'll read this part where it was like directly toward Bia. So she said, guess, guess I'm a teacher since she want to sub me. She did what? Had no idea. So wait, I'll stop right there. So you remember Bia was subbing Cardi B when Cardi B dropped, dropped the like what, um, remix. Bia thought that, uh, Cardi B was basically copying her and she started stepping Cardi B, um, on Twitter. So we'll talk about that a little bit more too. So, um, let me finish this. So she said she did what had no idea, thought she was on the shelf. Ikea better talk like that. When I see, uh, please don't nobody want to be, uh, like she used to play on words where be, ya. don't nobody want to be, ya, and don't nobody want no damn be, ya. you know, that's what she meant. She said, cheap looking, cheap looking, weak looking, great value, me looking, girl, these be C, delete every tweet looking, you know, I, y'all know I can't cuss no more. So that's what she said. So she actually called Bia out by name, if you ask me. She said Bia's name. Don't nobody want a Bia. And, um, okay, so I'll let y'all know. So Bia and Cardi B, they had a thing because uh, Bia dropped uh, a song. Last year, in the last year, I'm that bitch. So, you know, she dropped that song and everything. And then Cardi B came, um, I believe it was in March or something. And she dropped the um, the Like What freestyle. And it both sampled the um, the Missy Elliott record. And so, also too, I guess there was an interesting camera angle where Bia may have thought that Cardi was just kind of like copying her. Um, and so, Bia started subbing Cardi. And so, um, I guess this is Cardi's get back to her. So, she said, don't nobody want to be it. Now, what I'll say about this. Do I think... Is something on my lip? No. Do I think that Bia... Or do I think that Cardi B is copying Bia? No. I have to just say that. Bia... I love Bia too. Um, I don't really listen to Bia's music a whole lot, but from what I have heard of Bia, you know, um, she's okay. But she can she can rap. She can rap. But do I think that Cardi B needs to go take and borrow anything from Bia? No. That's just my opinion. I don't think that Bia is on Cardi B's mood board. In my opinion, them is two different kind of, you know, Rappers in a sense that I don't feel like Bia is trying to dip over and drift in Cardi B's lane, and I don't feel like um, Cardi B is trying to take anything from Bia. I just don't. I just don't. Um, so I think Bia. Well, I know Bia was. You know, she had. She was feeling away because of the like what uh, re, the freestyle or whatever. But I said this before on here. Bia, y'all both sampled the song, sweetie. Like y'all both sampled the song. 
It's no, it's no tea. I promise you, it's, it's not that serious. Trust me. I know this. Y'all both sampled the song from Missy Elliott. So, who's copying who? I mean, it's a sample. You didn't invent the sample. So, I guess she could have been talking about the camera angle and maybe, I don't know. Do I think Bia was reaching a little bit with that? Sure. Yeah, I do. Um, but do I think that Cardi B need, Cardi B wanted to respond to that? Um, yeah, but I, she never responded like how she responds to the people that she don't know, like her fans and stuff. She'll go back and forth with them. But like Bia, she didn't say it. She kind of paid it. She, she talked a little bit, but she didn't really get into like a Twitter war or anything with Bia. And I guess this was her response on the song. Um... This is what I'll say, too, about this. I talked about um, Cardi B losing her position in hip-hop um, a couple videos ago. A couple shows ago, I talked about um, Megan Thee Stallion taking her position in hip-hop. Now, I do still, I still stand behind that. I stand behind that. And I think what really, um, what really shows that Cardi B is, um, she's falling she is, she, so she's, she's not going to argue with Nicki Minaj. She can't argue with Nicki. Nicki's going to pay it. Nicki is not giving Cardi B, I promise you, Nicki is not giving, breathing any more life into Cardi B. She sees that Cardi B is fizzling out and she's like, I'm going to let her, you know, die slow. Honestly, like, she like, you know, die slow. Because it's, it, it's a slow death. It is a slow death of the career. It's not happening rapidly for Cardi B like it happened for um, Ice Spice or something like that. But Cardi B, the career is, is, is going to be a slow death. And so um, Nikki is not breathing any more life in her. So she can't argue with uh, Nikki. Um, she can't. She's not arguing with Meg, um, I guess, you know, right now because her and Meg are on a record together. They're cool. You know, so Cardi B really is forced. She can't go at Doja Cat because I believe her and Doja Cat is cool and they have a record coming out. Um, Cardi B is forced to argue with Bia. <laughs> and no shade because I like Bia. But if I'm the, if I'm up here, you know, like we say Cardi B or where she was, if I'm up here, I'm not trying to be arguing with Bia. I'm not, I'm not stepping off my seat to address Bia. I'm just not, or to argue with Bia. Um, or to sub Bia in a song. I would more so, and if I did want to respond to Bia, I actually would just go ahead and get at Bia on Twitter. I mean, it's no shade. I would I would never give Bia, like, uh, I would never, for me, if I was Cardi B, I wouldn't give Bia the satisfaction of saying that she's beefing with me, um, especially through music. I just wouldn't. Just because of Cardi B's status in the game, obviously she is a lot more accomplished than Bia is or whatever, but I'm not, and I'm, and please don't take it the wrong way. I'm not saying Bia cannot rap because Bia can rap. Bia really pushes her pen now. I would never sit up here and play on Bia's pen, but I feel like as far as status goes and star power, and that's what I'm talking about right now. Um, we know that there are some people who are more talented than, than people who are more popular. Like Cardi B is the more uh, popular of the two. And Bia, you guys may think Bia is a better uh, rapper than Cardi B. So, you know what I mean? So, um, I really think that she's forced to scrap with Bia now. Um, she'll probably throw a couple of uh, subs at JT. She's forced to go at JT now. And like I said, JT, JT is a bigger, JT is not a big artist, but I guess I could see a JT back and forth. But you know what? Now that I think about it, JT and Bia, and I love JT, but um, Cardi B, you got kind of got a status too where, you know, um, Arguing with JT would probably be, you know, coming off of your throne, your throne, too. Um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I just, this is just, am I interested that much? Am I really interested? And I just have to keep it 100 with y'all. I'm really not that interested in this little beef and this little back and forth. I'm just, I'm not that interested in it. Unless it becomes something great um, on Bia's end as far as like, you know, maybe she puts out a diss track. But this isn't enough to just, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm bored with with this. I'm, I am. And I'm trying to, I guess what I'm trying to do is, you know, give Cardi B something 
for this. I'm just been bored with the female rappers lately. That no, nobody is really producing outside of Nicki, and we've had Nicki Nicki's album, um, and we've been you know we played it and we played it and we went and saw her on tour and everything. But we can't even really put Nikki in the conversation because Nikki isn't releasing new music right now as far as like anything new and fresh for our ears. So outside of Nikki, I'm kind of bored with these girls right now. It's not a whole lot going on as far as nothing is making me, you know what I mean? I tried to give her this and it's cute and short she shaded Bia, but it's just, <sighs> I tried. I'm not excited about this. This this doesn't have me excited. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just sorry. But, you know, um, if y'all like it, you know, that's fine or whatever. And not saying I hate it. I'm not even saying I hate it. And I just told y'all I like the record, but I'm just not excited about it. Like, it doesn't give you that spark. Like, it's something missing. That's what it is. Like... And not even comparing right now, but you know when Nicki drops, you're excited about a record. You're excited like, ooh, when Nicki drops a new record or when she's on a remix, you're like, ooh, let me see what Nicki finna do to this remix or whatever. I'm just not excited for a Cardi B remix. This is like, what, the third one this year? And I'm just, I'm, and they're all kind of just like, they all kind of fall short for me, y'all. And that's just my opinion. I was trying to give it something, and I still did. I feel like I gave it something. I'm not saying it's a bad record. I'm just not excited about it. But that's just my opinion. So um, I want to speak to to uh, the end of the song where she said deleting tweets or whatever. So Bia was caught deleting some tweets, child. So they said that Bia deleted these tweets prior to her. Um, prior to her, so they said when before, right before she did the whole lot of money remix with Nicki Minaj. Bia deleted these tweets. Now, these tweets are, in fact, deleted. So, I'll go ahead and pull them up and um, show y'all. Because I do think that is pretty corny of Bia. Now, um, let's see. Okay. So, this is a tweet from Bia. So, um, the Cardi's fan page said, Bia Bia is the new girl inspired by Cardi. She said, if you're not inspired, you're not paying attention. You can at least be a fan of someone's work ethic, growth, and contributions. And I've been writing for 10 years. What she's accomplished is not easy. So this was back in 2021. So this is Bia here giving Cardi B her flowers. So she's like, basically like, I'm inspired. If you're not inspired, you're not paying attention. I'm inspired by Cardi B and her work ethic and everything like that. So... Um, this is Bia as well. I respect sh starters, not sh typers. She, uh, is, that is a line from Cardi B's song, Big Paper, that was on DJ Khaled's album. And you see she tagged Cardi B like, hello, you know, Cardi B was living for Bia. I mean, well, Bia was living for Cardi B. Bia was living for Cardi B. That's what it looks like. So then we got another one right here, y'all. It says, I want to do some Spanish rap sh with Barty. We would eat. So, mind you, these are all in 2021. She deleted it. She deleted it. She deleted it. Um, let's see. So, um, she also said, congrats to Cardi B. Breaking barriers for the girls or whatever. And then Cardi B responded back to her. Peep the Remy Ma, um, the Remy Ma profile picture. If you know, you know where that came from. Um, but uh, she said, thank you. Love see your work loves your loves what was she trying to say loves your work keep killing them and then bia said means a lot barty thank you so these girls oh wait i forgot to pull up um there they go so these girls clearly had um i guess some type of rapport with one another now i do think that it is pretty corny that Bia deleted her tweets and stuff. Like she had no affiliation with Cardi prior to the whole Lot of Money remix uh, with Nicki. Now, let's see, y'all, when Whole Lot of Money came out, though. Let's see. Because this this will be interesting. Whole Lot of Money remix. Oh, so Whole Lot of Money remix came out. Um... July 8th, 
2021. July 8th, 2021. And um, these tweets were in 2021 as well. What's the, the, the latest date on that? We got them all the way up to April of 2021. So they had a lot of um, exchanges. Oh, May of 2021. So May 25th, 2021, that's when she said she she want to do some uh, Spanish music with Barty. Y'all, um, yeah, that's corny to me. I'm sorry. That's corny to me. That's corny to me. I Do I think Bia really have an issue with Cardi B? No. Do I think Bia is, do, and I'm just keeping it real. Do I think Bia is trying to, um, do I think Bia really created this issue with Cardi B? In her head? Yeah, I kind of do. Unless there was something going on behind the scenes that I did not know about. But what I think... Bia gives a little phony. Bia is a little phony now. That's phony because you um, you were tweeting her in 2020, a couple months, but before you got the Nicki Minaj feature. But then once you got the Nicki Minaj feature, I guess you wanted to delete and everything. Like you had nothing even to do with her because you know the barbs probably would have pulled that up. Or maybe you thought Nicki would pull the record. I don't know. I don't know why people think they can't like both of these girls. Like, it's not that serious. Um, but, yeah, that was corny, Bia. That was corny. I do think Bia did. Um, she, she, I think Bia knows, and I said this in the video before. It benefits Bia, Bia's career more to go against Cardi B than it does to be chum chummy with Cardi B. Because, for one... You know, Cardi B, um, you know, she's a rap female rapper and it gets the chatter going, oh my God, B and Cardi B, you know, B and Cardi B. And then for two, if you are going against Cardi B and you have a close affiliation music wise with Nicki Minaj, understand? Um, they have the uh, Super Freaky Girl remix together and then they have the um, Whole Lot of Money remix together. It, it benefits you more. Y'all are tethered together. That's why I'm doing this. Nicki Minaj and Bia are tethered together. You know the barbs are going to support you. You were just on stage with Nicki Minaj too. What, was that last month? Yeah, that wasn't back in April. Um, last month, you were on stage with Nicki Minaj too. She brought you out. So it just benefits Bia's career more to beef with Cardi B because the barbs are going to support her and it just keeps her name in, in the traction because we don't really talk about Bia. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Maybe they'll make up. Who knows? Or, But honestly, Bia, since you, let, since you made this bed now, I do think go ahead and lay in it because, I mean, you really don't need to be friends with Cardi B anyway. It's, it's not going to help your career to be cool with her um, anyway. I mean, she's trying to help her own career. She's grasping for straws herself. Cardi B is grasping for straws. Cardi B is looking for, um, she's looking for work. In a way, like she's just not that she's not that girl how she was six years ago. So um, Cardi B, it, it, a beef will benefit Cardi B's career as well because she is grasping for straws. Cardi B is just not that high, you know. So Bia, this is what I would do if I was you. Go ahead and capitalize off the moment, girl. Now, she named you by name, Bia. Like, I think that don't nobody want to be a she called you a, a cheap looking a weak looking, she said, a great value me looking. So, Bia, I think you should go ahead and put the diss track out. Why not? Why not, girl? Get you some couple coins off of it. We we paying attention anyway, you know? Um, now, is this just going to be the beef of the year? No. I mean, we're going to talk about this for a week, and then we're going to move on. But, um, yeah, Bia, I'm going to give me some clout off of it. She, she uh, mentioned your name. She said your name. Don't nobody want to be a, that was for you. Yeah, Bia, I will go ahead and put out a diss track. Why not? Go put a diss track out. You know, capitalize off the momentum. Um, oh, y'all. So, also, too, real quick, Bia responded. Bia responded in um, a tweet. Bia responded in a tweet. These girls love Twitter. Let me see. Bia's also promoted a record right now, too. Um... That I think comes out either it comes out next week I think yeah next week Friday she has a um, a record with Jid on the Bad Boys soundtrack so if you um, if you want to listen to that if you care check that out because I just saw that on her page but um, this is what Bia responded y'all let me let y'all see okay wait hold on I should have knew it was something when she wouldn't let y'all do her makeup and hair wig. 
Okay, I didn't know it had the music on there. So it's y'all can go look at it or whatever. But this is also what Bia said too. She's this whack. She's this trash. I should hang. She's over my knee the way I be putting my belt today. So um, yeah, Bia, that was cute. Okay, that was cute. And I saw somebody under the tweet, y'all. They said, "Girl, go get in the booth." They was like, "Go in the booth and cook it, boo." This tweet, this this is too much free access. And Bia said, and Bia is very confident, by the way. Bia said, do you, do, she said, you don't want me in the booth. I'm really like that. And she put the pin emoji. I told y'all Bia can rap. Bia can spit or whatever. Um, and Bia is confident in her craft as she should be. So yeah, Bia, go ahead and get in the booth, girl, and um, do a song and do something that uh, people can bounce to. I would take a page out of Kendrick Lamar's formula and do something that maybe the girls could twerk to. And um, yeah, and throw some shots at Cardi B. Have at it. It's, it's it's kill season. <laughs> it's kill season. So, um, yeah, y'all. That's all I got for y'all on this. I don't know if y'all can tell. I'm just... This isn't something that I'm just super interested in um, talking about. This ain't nothing I ran to the mic. I heard this last night. I, this ain't nothing I ran to the mic to go ahead and report. However, um, it is... It's, it's, it's interesting, I guess, you know. So, I want to hear from y'all. Let me know. What do y'all think about... The remix. What do y'all think about Cardi B's verse? Do you feel like she... Did she eat? Uh, let me know what you think about Bia getting into it with Cardi B. Do you feel like Bia did this to further her career? Do you think her and Cardi B have a real issue for real? Do you think Bia did this because she's clicked up over there with Nicki Minaj and she wants that support from the barbs? Do you think that is what Bia is doing? Is Bia using the barbs too, but just in a roundabout way? You know what I mean? Kind of making Nikki op her op kind of thing. Y'all think that's what's happening? I don't know. Um, but let me know in the comments. I want to hear from y'all. This is a pretty lengthy video, but make sure you are subscribed to the channel. It's somewhere down there, like I told y'all before. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. I'll catch y'all in the next one.